Hello guys, welcome back to the news. Many have faulted the decision made by President Tinibu on the recent suspension of Godwin Imefele and his arrest. Also, the recent suspension of the EFCC chairman, Bawa. And I can tell you that uh, most have alleged that uh, the DSS wouldn't have arrested Godwin Imefele and uh, Mr. Bawa just like that. I mean, uh, the president would have, you know, set down some principles. They had a process to follow, but uh, making it known that it was illegal, it was unconstitutional, it was unlawful for the president to have suspended Godwin Imefele, you know, leading to his arrest by the DSS. Most have described the recent development as undemocratic they say oh it seems that uh, the president is going against the norms of the rule of law it seems that uh, president Tinibu you know wants to behave like the former president uh, Mohammed Buhari and there have been so many talks concerning uh, the recent activities that surrounds president Tinibu's uh, you know decision to suspend the CBN governor and also the the chairman of the EFCC now according to Ada Ade Yanju, he said Tinibu should not be lawless like the former president Buhari. He should release a Mefele and Bawa now. Guys, this is serious. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Department of the State Service, DSS, has been urged to release the sacked former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefili, and the suspended chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, Mr. Da, uh, Daju Adeyangju, a public affairs commentator, said President Bola Tinibu's administration should release Emefele and Bawa, stressing that he shouldn't be lawless like his predecessor, Buhari. Mr. Adeyanju stressed that Emefele and Bawa should not be held as political prisoners. Tweeting, the right activist said both men should not be detained without trial. And according to Adeyanju, the DSS must release Emefele and Bawa or charge them to court. The era of political prisoners should be gone forever. The Tinibu government should not be a lawless one, like that of Buhari, where people are detained unconstitutionally without trial. And Tinibu had suspended the Mefili over the weekend, and the DSS picked him up for investigations. He's still being held at the secret police as investigation into his, into his activities while in office continues. Similarly, the president suspended Bawa from office last night and he was also arrested by the DSS. So what is really going on? Now it seems that uh, President Tinibu may be following the pattern of his predecessor, the former president Mohamed Buhari, because the arrest of Godwin Emefili, the CBN governor, the suspended CBN governor, looks so unconstitutional. It looks unlawful, you know, it is very wrong and illegal. And uh, so many people have condemned that act by the DSS because they said for someone to be arrested, at least you must be issued, you know, an uh, a, 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 a arrest warrant issued directly by a competent court of law at least but you can see that uh, the president yes he has the power to suspend the cbn governor but uh, tinibu does not have the power to arrest a mefili or any nigerian civilian just like that uh -huh. before an arrest is made at least there must be a, a, a arrest warrant issued directly by a competent court of law before an arrest can be made but uh, this was not made known and uh, it, it is very you know very suspicious that a Mephile's arrest came immediately after he was suspended and he's still in the detention of the DSS and you see it seems so illegal it seems so unconstitutional so unlawful so bad and uh, many people have condemned it 
the Labour Party condemned it that uh, Tinibu wouldn't have done such. Tinibu wouldn't have uh, suspended Godwin Emefele. Tinibu is only trying to be vindictive against Emefele due to the uh, Naira redesign policy and uh, how he introduced it to Nigerians to you know help curb the vote buying issue and many people had alleged that uh, they were household rock about who were supporting uh, Godwin Emefele who brought about the policy through Godwin Emefele just to truncate the victory of Ashwedu Bolad Metinibu in the 2023 presidential elections so it seems that uh, the policy the introduction of the Naira redesign policy was aimed at making sure that Tinibu does not emerge victorious in the presidential election. But at the end of the day, he emerged victorious and he's the president of this country. But what most people are trying to say is that Emefele and, um, you know, Emefele wouldn't have been arrested by the DSS. But I can tell you that uh, the DSS are currently, you know, going through investigation. They are investigating his activities while he was still in office. I think that is why he's still in the DSS custody. And I'm sure once they are done with that, you know, they might take him to court for further trial. As most people have alleged that uh, Tinibu would have not have him arrested so you see the DSS they are actually doing their work but my country people what are your thoughts concerning this because so many Nigerians have really reacted to the arrest and the suspension of uh, Godwin Emefele people are talking that oh Godwin Emefele shouldn't go down the load some people are in support of his arrest and his suspension while others are not in support now the likes of uh, Ade Yanju is not in support he said see the dss should release a mefili and mr bauer because it seems that uh, tinibu is following the footsteps of his predecessor buhari he shouldn't be lawless he shouldn't be lawless so guys what are your thoughts concerning this however nigerians have reacted to this attention seeker tinibu stole a mandate and he is in the height of lawlessness even in the event in Lagos State's polity. Someone who is desperate for power is not expected to use it ju judiciously. Tinibu will be worse than Buhari, that I know. So let the court do the needful. It is time you take over government and let's see how you will perform. Well, Bawa, yes. Bawa should be released, but Emefele, no, no, no. Emefele does not deserve to be released because he had imposed intense sufferings on Nigerians through the introduction of his policy. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. I can tell you that uh, Mr. Adeyanju have condemned the actions of uh, President Tinibu. So I'm dropping here my country people. Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section? Thank you. Bye for now.